Hi everyone, Dr. Arlen Hill here. I wanted to take the time today to briefly show you the need for supplementing B12 and folate together and what the importance of that is. Uh, a lot of times these two nutrients are talked about individually and not really as a uh, synergistic combination. And, and that's really important because these two nutrients really work together. They have a kind of a hand in hand type um, effect in the body and the way that they work. The reason that this is important too, just to kind of give you a little background here, is that if you're looking at supplementing B12, a lot of people know about B12 as it's related to things like energy. That's kind of what the, the one big thing that uh, a lot of individuals want to focus on. And it is important for that, it is needed for that. But the other component to this as well is that folate is just as relevant in those same metabolic processes that um, help us produce energy just because of the uh, adequate production of the red blood cells. The key point here being that if B12 is given in the absence of adequate folate, then there's going to be an imbalance that's created and vice versa if increased folate is given in the absence of B12, you're also going to see an imbalance begin to occur and this, <clears throat> this scale starts to tip to one side or the other. And, and as most things in the body, we want to try to maintain balance, we want to try to uh, maintain a nice kind of even set point and that's really going to be where we're giving an adequate amount of both B12 and folate. Now, just to kind of give you an idea of some of the significance of making sure that these two nutrients are in balance with each other and some of the things that can happen when they start to skew one way or the other, is that you can get a change in your red blood cell size. You'll actually see that the red blood cells don't fully mature like they're supposed to. Uh, another indication will be that the homocysteine levels in the body will begin to increase. Homocysteine is an inflammatory marker. Um, as that inflammation goes up, it begins to affect things like cardiovascular tissue, neurological tissue, our joints, our bones. There's a lot of different impacts that an increase in homocysteine can have. And we see a decrease in methylation. Methylation is a process that is involved in um, normal tissue recovery. So as the body's trying to heal and repair itself, it undergoes this, meaning that you need that balance of B12 and folate to carry out this methylation. And detoxification, if you can't adequately um, run detoxification as you're supposed to because you lost balance in the B12 and the folate, then your, your detoxification capacity is decreased in the body as well. So when you're thinking about supplementing either B12 or folate, just give some consideration to making sure that you're getting a balance between those two nutrients and not creating an imbalance in one or the other. Thanks for watching, Dr. Arlen Hill.